Yo, quick video. I forgot to say this on a previous video, but the other side of the conversation of this game conversation is that these game dudes don't talk about the consequences of having game, of running game. You know, what if people who using the so-called game, you know, manipulation, deception, or trying to market themselves to get over on somebody or finesse an opportunity out of somebody? What if chickens come home to roost or they eventually get caught up? Like, dude running game on a female and then she figure, she finally figures out that dude just running game on her. So, she feeling some type of way. So, she told the police that you raped her. Or she did some, some crazy shit to spite you to get you hemmed up. Or you dealing with a side chick. She started feeling some type of way. So she did some slighty shit to ruin your marriage or the relationship you in. And, and let me tell you a story. I've seen this TV show when they talk about um, celebrities and stuff. What went on in their life. Especially like the bad things. Them getting screwed. Some of these celebrities, some, like especially these basketball players, some of them got screwed over by agencies. People... Who claim to be like agencies that they'll help them invest in their money and stuff like that. There was this female, she was just finessing dudes. But guess what? All that game she was running on these dudes, right? So called game, right? It eventually caught up with her. And she had to go to jail for a certain amount of years for fraudery. Fucking with these dudes' money. So this thing with this game, man, everybody is going. Just like when dudes try to say she's not your, it's just your turn. The same thing applies to these game game dudes. Is that you're eventually gonna have your turn of getting getting caught caught up, or your chickens coming home to roost when it comes to this game shit. Look look at that Stern Sturton dude. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name, Dunn or Aaron Stern. I don't know who his name is, but that guy. Who used to own the um what's the name of that team? The LA Clippers. Yeah, the LA Clippers. People would say that he he had game to run on this female, right? What happened? He, he eventually caught up to him. And he got played. Chickens came home to roost. What happens in the dark eventually shows up in the light. And he he had to pay the consequences for it. Now, people would say that he don't got game, and then she was the one who ran game on him. But look what happened to her. You don't even hear about her anymore. Ain't no deal with her like that. She fucked it up for herself, really. That's the consequences. What about the consequences of running game? Shit will eventually catch up to you. And these is, this is one of the reasons why this game shit is bullshit. And people want to say life game applies to like bullshit because I, because I'm pretty sure those guys they live their life and they never got caught up in anything. There there's never no skeletons in their closet or anything. That they, they just live life the correct way. They live the honest, traditional life with values and shit, and nothing came that way except for guys. Who worship this comes to the game. They eventually get get caught up in shit. Look at Kamara Harris. Some people say she was running game. Because this is the thing about her. um Sleeping her way to the top and shit like that. Guess what her chickens came home to roost. When she had to quit. And give out the race for the, the election. And all that smoke that Tulsa had for, <laughs> for her. She had a whole lot of dirt on her because she did a lot of dirt. All that game that she was running came back to bite on the ass when it came to running for president. And I want to give a shout out to Chris because he talked about the dark side of self-improvement. But here's the thing. What about the dark side of game? Like the consequences. 
Okay, let me know what you guys think. I'm out. Peace.